You know, pan frying fish is a very, very easy thing to do. First off, you want to start off with some dry fish. Make sure you wrap them in a good two-ply paper towel to wick the moisture away from the fish. I've got some crappie fillets here that are perfect because they're thin, they're small, and I just want to get them coated with a mixture of flour, and I've got High Mountain Gourmet Fish Seasoning, and I'll add a little bit to the fish as well. Now, pan frying, as opposed to deep frying, is just a thin layer of a combination of oil and butter. The butter is going to give it flavor. The oil is going to give it a higher burning point. I've got the oil and butter there at about 360 degrees. Dredge it lightly. This is going to get a flip. We're not going to drown it. Once again, this isn't deep frying. This is pan frying. A light coat will get you there. And once it's lightly browned on one side, flip it over and get the other side. All right, brown on both sides. Drain them on paper towels, and if you wad your paper towels up like that, it'll drain better. And of course, these little bits of fish, to me, is better than a big chunk of pan-fried fish because you get all that crispy coating. While it's still hot, and this is really important, take another shake of your favorite seasoning. In this case, this one's mine and hit it right on top of that fish while it's hot. And that seasoning that you're adding to it now will make a big difference when you go to eat this fish. Pan frying, easy money, little flour, a little seasoning, not too much oil, and keep it small because of course size does matter.